Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocko here and in today's video we're going to share a really good insight that you could potentially use to make a lot of money in May and June. We're going to share a chart which shows Bitcoin prices and reality from January 2015 to April 2018 which you could use to make trades and make money in cryptocurrency. But please be aware that it's not a sure thing, it doesn't mean it happened last year and previous years it will happen again. It's just some, a tool that you can use to make your decisions guys. Um, but before we get into that video as usual a quick market update guys in previous video i said that bitcoin was range bound and it was consolidating after the after the price price increase um, and bitcoin has broken down slightly and dipped slightly there's still a lot of resistance so it could go down to probably eight and a half thousand or a bit lower but i still think it will go up to ten thousand eleven thousand the important thing is breaking through that resistance and going up and up and going above that above those numbers but if not we could uh, be in for a bigger dip um and then the massive bull run comes of what we're all expecting but it's all difficult to say now we'll have to see the price action and see in the next few days before we can say anything for certain or well, not for certain but before we can make decisions but we'll have to see what the price action is and the other coins guys they follow bitcoin bitcoin is king when bitcoin goes down other coins usually go further down and most coin is turning it's going down guys and um, cardano is slightly up stellar's up these two coins have been performing really well and they continue to perform strong neo is one of the coins i always talk about it's, it's down but i'm still confident that neo will do well other coins guys v chain has been doing well but it's slightly down it's a coin that i like and recently i've, I've sent out a trading signal for uh, for icx i don't know if you follow me on twitter previously when i sent trading signals out they made profit i'm not saying this one will make profit but i I, ICX is a coin that I really like um, and I think it might do well really really well in the long term and in the short term I just said that it, it's, it's been going down massively and it's been consolidating for a while so there's a good potential that it could break uh, break away and then go on that bull run that that I'm expecting for for ICX but th again this is not this is not investment advice guys do your own research before you invest and if you do invest guys trade with tight stop loss because if it does Town da uh, turn downwards it could be a uh, very impactful so if you've got your tight uh, stop loss in place you could potentially save money i think i'll do a video on and um, using stop losses and verge guys verge is up massively and it's mainly uh, down to being listed in in and Bitfinex, I believe, uh, they, they, they got uh, listed on an exchange. And I'll be doing another video on Verge. Uh, I've got a love and hate relationship with Verge. So I'll be doing another quick video on Verge recently to keep you guys aware with what's going on. But Verge has been doing uh, going down massively, but it seems to be doing well today because of that news. Um, another coin, Eternity. Eternity has been on a massive bull run. So I was expecting it to go down, but it's not gone, gone down as much. I don't know too much about the project. I still haven't done my research on Eternity ontology is one of the coins i really really like i've sent out a trading signal before that this ontology seems to be doing well so without further ado let's get into this video so this chart shows the price a percentage change per month from january 2015 to april 2018 this year there's been a massive uh, price have been going down the bitcoin crashed in january and february and if you looked at this chart if, i've shared this before if you go back and look at the bitcoin price in january in 2014 2015 2016 there always seems to be a dip in in those months if you go into 2017 you see that in january there there was a dip so this seems to keep repeating itself so we can we can maybe learn something from it but this is what I, what I wanted to show you guys in January and February are bad months for Bitcoin. May and June are surprisingly very, not surprisingly, bit, May and June are really good months for Bitcoin. So if you buy, if you buy now, potentially, if, if history repeats itself, it could be really good news. But again, don't just go by history. You need to look at the charts and, and news and everything else. But if history repeats itself, May and June could be potentially big money. I'll look at some percentages as well and how much you can expect to make if you invest in in. in in today or or in may and in june but it shows that may and june are particularly good months and then july august september are not great months but in october november like last year in december when all hell broke loose and bitcoin was going crazy everyone was talking about bitcoin and um, saying that november december are great months for bitcoin 
this is not my chart this is a chart that i found in um, gold stock bull investment strategies I, I thought it was really interesting and it made me think so i thought i'd share it with you guys and you guys could use and make decisions and potentially make money so it talks about the average gains uh, it says the third and the fourth strongest months of the year are may and june behind november and december November and December strength is probably overstated given the explosive price move in 2017. So this price is obviously not not skewed, but because of that massive bull run last year, this is uh, this is showing 40 percent, 30 percent, which is which is crazy news. And one thing, one other important thing to say is Bitcoin goes up on some massive bull days. So in in cup in 10 days. Bitcoin went up a lot higher than the other days, so make sure that you're holding in those days. I'm I'm, I'm not sure whether this this article talks about it. So if you if you don't hold Bitcoin in those ten days, then you you won't make much money. I mean, if you look at this this chart, wouldn't show you. If you look at charts on Trading View, you'll see that there was a massive one one candlestick for a day that went up as much as I think hundreds like something crazy like eight percent. There was a massive buy volume. I've shared it in my previous video. So make sure that you hold in those days. So it just talks about the percentage increases in May and June. And the weakest period is January and February, the first two months of the year. And this has repeated itself a couple of a few times in the in the past. So could it repeat itself again this article also talks about holding above that level of the breakout pattern which i mentioned as well um, it's quite important to for it to stay above that level for us to say that there's been a change in the pattern and then the price is going to keep going up so so this if it stays above that level we can say there's been a confirmation of breakout currently if it keeps bouncing below there might be another dip below to that those levels before the bull run we're all expecting they're saying forty thousand by the end of the year i've said about 30 to 50,000 by end of the year so it's good to see someone as experienced as them investment strategies having similar predictions to myself and reports have emerged that global elite have finally seen the writing on the wall and are starting to invest their massive amount of fiat paper in cryptocurrency George Soros I did a previous video on that Rockefellers and Rothschild they're all stepping into cryptocurrency and this can only be good news um it's also saying it's too early to confirm the breakout of us. I'm, I'm saying that as well. I'm not going all out on Bitcoin yet because there might be another dip before that bull run. But uh, in the long run for the year and in the future, I'm very bullish. Um, um, I was looking for that point where it talks about that Bitcoin and cryptocurrency are here to stay, not only for technological advancements possible with blockchains, but also cryptocurrencies a better form of money than fractional reserves. So they're very, very bullish on Bitcoin. So it's good to see this. I just want to share this article because it's a very, very interesting article. And also in, in Steemit, it talks about some of the price movements last year. So in November, um, it was it went up by 47%. In December last year, it went up almost 28 percent and april if you bought a uh, bitcoin in april it would have gone from 6080 800 to 9300 about a 36 percent rise that's not a bad rise um, and, and, and if you bought in may last year this is what what i wanted to show you if you bought in may 1st last year um, and sold it end of may you would have made a nice 64 percent profit those percentage of profit are, are like unheard of in, in normal stocks so could this repeat itself again? Um, I'll still wait before I get into it. But use this information and make your own decision. Educate yourself and make your own de decision. Use my knowledge and my, my thoughts and this content. But finally, I want you guys to make your own decisions to stay safe in the crazy world of cryptocurrency of money. Right, this is what I was talking about before. Keep in mind that a vast majority of the gains in Bitcoin each year come out of roughly 10 days throughout the year. So make sure you hold those, uh, you huddle in those 10 days. If you miss those 10 days, I think in, in this chart, I haven't got my chart open, otherwise I would have showed you. You can see that there's a one day where it went up massively, guys. So Bitcoin seems to rise in like little sparks where it just goes up, goes crazy. So we need to make sure we're holding Bitcoin. Then I actually didn't, um, didn't make that much money in April because I, I didn't buy at 6,000 I bought a bit higher so I didn't make that 36 percent but um but if we look at that chart what this is saying is if you if you bought in May you would have made a 64 percent profit if you buy now would you make 64 percent profit 
I'm not too sure. Um, I need to do more analysis, and I'll keep you guys updated. Watch my future videos. I'll talk about it. Subscribe to this channel, and I'll talk about my predictions and what I'm doing when I'm investing. But uh, if if you use this information, um, you could invest in me and potentially make money. And I don't know if you know, if you've heard about Steam yet. It's like a decentralized Steam uh, platform. It's really good. That the, it's like a blog post. I'll share some interesting information. What I post on. Uh, YouTube, I post it on there. So give me a follow if you are if you are on Steam yet. Follow me at Crypto Rocco, guys. I post good information and blog similar to what I post on YouTube. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I wanted to uh, share this strategy with you. Hopefully you can use it and you find it uh, beneficial, or at least you find it informative and you can use it in your decision making. So if you have enjoyed this video, guys, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything. But it means a lot to me. I do price predictions video, crypto cryptocurrency news videos, trading signals, uh, technical analysis, the whole lot to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of cryptocurrency money. So please do consider scrolling down and clicking subscribe. It will mean a lot to me. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you very much.